Hello and welcome to this video. I'm playing Rilke here with White. I wonder, I've got a ton of games against him. Probably some sort of blitz match. Maybe. Okay, we'll see. Um, play the Retty opening here. Okay, I mean, Bishop E6 now is the best move and Bishop yeah, he, he knows it. And this is something that is now more commonly known that bishop e6, okay, takes with the pawn. That is uncommon. Hmm. Okay. So I was surprised that he that he takes with this. Um, okay, now how do we play this? I want to try to play on those on the dark squares here. Maybe this is this is interesting. Trying for this and knight a form, keeping the center entirely flexible. It can be interesting. So that I don't have to commit yet to a d3 or d4 setup. I would like to go at one point probably d4 to fix the pawn there on c6. But I don't want to do it with this bishop on b2 on the board. I'd rather trade first. Yeah. Okay, so stop this for the moment. And he's still, it's tough for him to play c5. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so, ah, he wants to go e5, that's interesting. Oh, this is actually interesting now. E5, I have queen c5. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Let's do it anyway. Not even sure if queen c5 would have netted all that much. Anyway, let's see what he's doing now. Okay. Threatening now bishop f6. Okay, so he retreats this one. Mm, okay. I've got e5 covered. So any knight d7, we would trade and I have rook c5 at the end. I wonder, would love to make sure that he's not playing that he is not playing a5. This is an interesting move. Intending b4 and then b4, a3 and stop the pawn forever basically. Now, is e5 a move that I'm concerned about? Probably not. I can actually double immediately here. That's interesting. If, I'm, if I've got the, the rooks um, doubled on the c file, there is bishop takes d5 immediately as a threat. Yeah, of course, hey, you can stop it, but still have useful moves here. And now, I mean, just taking it is an advantage, but is there anything better? Knight b4? No, probably not. I wonder if dropping back to c5 is something that is useful. Yeah, then a5. 
Okay, I'm going to take. His position is, of course, entirely passive, but it is very solid still. He should probably, yes, that's a good decision. He's, he now has a five still available. Very, yeah, that's very important that he's got this one. Otherwise, I would have played rook c5. Hmm. Now that's that's actually actually completely fine for him. He's got a5, a4, and will take on b3. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Then it very very nicely defended by Black. I mean, it it really looked it looked rotten, and um, I didn't get anything. He should have played a4 though, I think. Not a big deal, but I think he should have played it when there was still this this easy option. King f2. I could have played f4 maybe, but Ultimately, I need uh, okay. I need the king on c3. Bishop c2. Mm, no. He's doing a good job here in defending this position, really. B4 is probably equal. Oh, he, he might take then. Hmm, he might take it. I know. Doesn't work. I mean, it might work, but it doesn't give him an advantage. Rook c2, king c2, bishop f5. Maybe I can even go e4. e4. And then g4. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So I got the c file. Got that under control. He cannot invade there. It's just going to be really difficult to open the position. Okay, so how do we do that? That is that is uh, that is that is okay. The main problem is that I have absolutely no time. Okay. Seconds. Didn't, didn't see that move. Arg. Didn't see it at all. Cannot go bishop e2. No, what the heck? I'm blundering the friggin' bishop. Oh my god! And he can take it. Uh, I lose this friggin' game. This is insane. Uh, you just have a. Comp uh, uh, you can never ever lose this position. No more. Oh. Yeah, I did. I mean, this 
this must be really excellent for white. Okay, yeah, the time management, of course, but still. F5 is probably not right. I'm surprised that the engine just gives me 0 0.4. I was thinking that must be a clear advantage with the with black being stuck to g6 and yeah i know he's got the h pawn but still i cannot believe that this is uh, just a small edge yeah and here uh, now he defended as well and uh, of course i made a couple of really terrible oversights a uh, king king f3 is just a bad move I didn't see bishop h5 at all. I mean, of course, this I shouldn't lose, but by now I, I lost control. Yeah, I kind of knew that taking is not great, but I couldn't couldn't figure it out. G6 is still a draw. Hmm. How is the drawing line? Takes. King e1, rook g3, take, take, g7, bishop back. And then I have to stop the pawn. That's a draw. Hmm, okay. Yeah, probably um, I have to not play f5. Or, I don't know. I, again, I didn't, I didn't have that much time to... To, to try to find the best continuation. Okay, the computer likes to take then F4. Can probably time that better. Yeah? It's a little bit of better timing. Yeah, I can take with the F pawn. Mm. This is better, really. Yeah, that is a way forward to end this ending. I just want to find out how I can, what the objective way of playing is. Because, I mean, white is obviously quite substantially better with b5 and g6. and But um, it wasn't easy to do. I mean, I had no time, of course, but still... Yeah, he defended this nicely. I mean, Black's position basically sucked the whole time. It was just, um, yeah, he had to defend this the whole time. And I really hate to lose the game because I liked uh, I liked how I maintained the pressure here. This, this was, I think, um, I was happy with this, this part of the game. Okay, this was wrong. Okay, the, 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 it, it's essential that he's got rook c takes. Yeah, this is just clearly better, yeah, when I get this to a5. And I maintain the pressure there. But this I had underestimated. Now he gets a5. It's, of course, a gross error by black not playing a4. I mean, that's, that's just really bad. I don't, think, um, I don't think he's better, as the engine suggests, but he should definitely play a4. A4, B4, A3, Rook C3. I have a hard time to believe that black can be better here in any way. E3. Why is that better for black? So, that is better for black? Okay, I cannot take because of C5. Hmm. So, this one. Yeah, okay, that is better for black. I still wonder why that is better for black, e5. Why I get the c pawn? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So maybe I have to defend uh, defend differently here. Mm -hmm. It's quite remarkable. But I mean, this bishop looks bad, but this is not great either. I take some time. I can improve that, but it, it takes time. Yeah, the, the way it went, I yeah, he never played a4. I was ready to answer a4 with b4. And 
now um, I can try for a little something, but yeah, and here he never he can now make a draw by taking and taking everything. That would be possible, but he went he allowed this one. A4 is terrible. I mean, it just it's not a good move. Bishop f5. Okay. Okay, okay, I take it back. A4 is not a bad move, but you have to play bishop f5. I mean, if you do this and now play bishop f5, black is fine. Yeah? You have to have to trade this off simply in such a situation to have c4 and not suffer with the bad bishop. But after that, I'm better. But then I screwed it up. That was interesting. It was really interesting. That, um, I mean, I'm still feeling bad for losing the game because it's just like you're better the whole time in, in some way. No, okay, I wasn't better here, yeah? That, that Rook C takes B8 is something that I should have seen earlier. I recognized once it happened that I have time to, I don't have time to play, to do anything against A5, A4. It was just too late. I recognized it too late. Okay, thanks for watching.